Oh, that's fine. Morning, guys. Um, I'm knackered. After going to Manchester for two nights and then coming back on the Sunday, which took a long time because of the bank holiday, all the trains were cancelled. <clears throat> and then I went to see Dua Lipa on Monday night. Did the gym um, Monday morning before do the peep. And then yesterday, went to the gym in the morning and then I uh, had a photo shoot uh, for the Outnet um, for a collaboration that I'm doing soon, which is really cool. Uh, and then I came home last night and I was just like knackered. So done. Um, today I've got uh, a couple of meetings in central London. Nothing tonight, thank God. And then this weekend I'm going to Germany. Um, with a really cool car brand. So I'm very, very excited. I will be vlogging that as well because it's not every weekend you get whisked away to Germany to drive a fancy car. Um, so yeah, but today, before I head out, I wanted to show you a couple of new things that I got. This video is actually uh, sponsored by one of my favorite Korean brands, Gentle Monster. You know that I wear my Gentle Monster sunglasses all the time and have them for years. This is like my favorite pair um, that I've been wearing for such a long time. Um, they don't actually do these anymore, which is very unfortunate. So, um, but they do do a lot of other amazing sunglasses and they've just released a new collaboration with Montclair, which is gonna be the main ones that I'm showing you. But I also, they also kindly sent me some other ones too. So we're just gonna do a bit of like a sunglass try on haul. Um, so yeah. As I'm literally so excited to go through all of these with you. They've sent me three of the Montclair Genius collaboration and then they've also sent me three of my choice. I'm so excited to show you guys. So let's get into it. So one um, special thing about Gentle Monster, by the way, if you ever get the chance to go to a Gentle Monster store, then you have to. They have a concession here in central London in Selfridges um, and that's always, an amazing experience. One thing that's always special about Gentle Monster is the details. So here, like the packaging for this Montclair collab, this is one of the boxes. Um, so you kind of slide out the box and then you have this layer here. So you take this off to reveal the case. And obviously it's Montclair Genius. You have a little puffer case. I remember when I got the fragrances and they came in little jackets as well. And this is the kind of tag that is inside all the clothes too. So that's a really, really nice touch. You open the little puffer case and slide out the glasses. And this is the first pair that I want to show you. The crazy thing about this is like, they don't have the regular kind of arms that would fold out on sunglasses. They have these metal things that slide out and lock into place, which is so cool. I think this is my favorite pair from the Montclair collaboration. They're just so nice. Look at the details on the arms now that that slid out. This is definitely more of like a visor shape, which I'm obsessed with, so. I love the style and shape of these. And I love that detail of the arms sliding back into. So this pair also has an interesting way of extending the arms. So you can see they're like folded like this. These are like red acetate um, and more of like, a, I wouldn't say cat eye, they're more of like the, the oval kind of shape. Um, but basically, again, I was like, how do you get these out? And what you have to do is you extend the arms like the last pair so you extend them out fully by sliding them through the Montclair logo and then you bend them inwards rather than the other way do you know what I mean so again the chrome arm the Montclair tab which attached to the frame at the front and you put them on like this these give such a nice view through the lens. Like they kind of brighten everything up. Like sometimes when you put sunglasses on, they kind of like make everything look dark. 
Um, but these obviously still shield your eyes from the sun, but also make everything a bit lighter as well. And finally, the last pair from the Montclair collabs. And then I have three more of um, the regular <coughs> Gentle Monster offering to show you. So again, the puffer jacket inside. This is probably the most like um, tame in terms of like design. I mean, they're still really, really cool, but obviously like those two are a bit out there, whereas these are more reserved in that sense. So these just have the regular fold out arms that most sunglasses and glasses have. Um, but then the whole of the front is kind of the glass, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not like the glass is set into the frame. It's like the frame is the glass. I don't know if that's making sense, but you can see what I mean, right? And then they have like the Montclair logo on the side as well. But these are a really nice shape. These are more like classic, if you ask me. These are definitely a more versatile shape uh, that would go with more outfits. Um, they're a really big lens as well, so it's kind of like panoramic views. Um, yeah, these are awesome. So these are the third and final pair from the Montclair collaboration. So then I got to choose three uh, pairs off the website, which I just love. Um, so I went for something a bit different because obviously I have the black classic pair already that I've been wearing for years and that will like never change for me. But then <clears throat> also they change their pouch every year. Obviously for this year, the glasses pouch is this little black pouch. To me, it looks like a little baked thing. If you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's really, really cute. Um, so this is the first pair. These are amazing. Like the <clears throat> detail on the side kind of looks like a big crystal to me. I'm not really sure what this is, but it looks amazing. This is definitely a more like, um, uh, this is definitely a more like style choice, like a fashion choice rather than uh, actually keeping the sun out of your eyes. Um, I love the purple lens on it as well. The arms are super thin, like a thin piece of metal coming off this kind of like crystal design, which is awesome. Like I said, these are definitely more of like a style choice rather than a um, protective situation. I'd probably wear them like just down my nose like a little bit and then kind of like look over them in that sense. But I think these could like, but these can be a great addition to like a really kind of simple outfit to kind of elevate it in a certain way. Um, but yeah, these are awesome. I'll leave a link to these in the description box below as well. <clears throat> I always find sunglasses such like a, you have to go in the store and you have to try on like as many pairs as you can because <clears throat> you never really know what suits your face until you try it on. Like, I used to think that a lot of sunglasses didn't suit me, but the more and more, and try, the more and more down the rabbit hole you go, like the more and more you love them, if you know what I mean. And you feel like you can do as many shapes as possible. <laughs> and I think to got to, I got to the point as well where I've worn, I've worn the same black pair for so long, like I know that that's good, but then you kind of want to explore and expand as well. This next pair, so again, come in the same like black little pouch. These are like a dark purple, dark red, kind of like maroon color. And they look absolutely amazing. Like I'm so excited to put these on. <laughs> um, they have a little chrome detail on the side, on the arm as well, which is cool. Um, I definitely think these are like a go-to pair as well. Like these aren't as loud as the other ones, but they've got like a cool understated tone to them because they are such a unique color and the unique shape. I think they would go with a lot of different outfits as well and a lot of different styles. Um, I didn't know if they would send me these ones or not because they're another collaboration. Obviously this is to promote the Montclair Genius Collection, which is absolutely stunning. But also they recently did a collection with Hood by Air. Hood by Air is like a long time classic streetwear brand that was like really big when I was growing up and then kind of like went away. But now they've made a comeback and this collab with with Gentle Monster is amazing. Look at the lenticular case. I don't know if this will work or not, but basically like as you slide it, it changes what you see on the box. Um, so this obviously visor is like a lenticular and then like this design actually makes up the logos, which is so cool. Um, so I think every purchase from Gentle Monster, you know you're just gonna get this like unique special experience that 
makes you absolutely fall in love with the brand, look at the box for the Hood by Air. It's so, so cool. So these are very extra and I'm absolutely in love with them. Um, so again, these fall on the more like visor kind of side of the sunglass spectrum. Um, they're like a, a fuchsia, like a magenta kind of color and the arms fold out, but then still leave a little part of metal here. So they're like just offset from the frame itself, if you know what I mean. And then they have the polarized lens, which is giving like red mirrored fantasy, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And yeah, so this is what they look like on. So these look amazing on, they feel amazing. They make everything look blue, which is interesting because the lens is like pink. Um, but yeah, everything looks more like cool tone, which is definitely nice to look at. So that was my little Gentle Monster sunglass haul try on. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you think of the brand Gentle Monster. Have you ever purchased a pair of shades before? Um, would you be purchasing in the future? I definitely urge you to check out their stores um, or just check out their glasses like in any way that you can because uh, like I said, I've had that black pair for years and they're my ride or die. It's like, I love them so much. So I'm so thankful that Gentle Monster wanted to work with me um, and show you guys the new Montclair Gentle Monster collection. Now I need to get ready to go into Central. So I need to pick an outfit and decide what I'm gonna wear. Guys, I'm very late. So this will be a quick run through of my outfit. Balenciaga runner sneakers, ASOS denim, AS Clo hoodie, uh, hat from Fred Seagal when I was in LA, Planet Hollywood jacket vintage from Melrose Trading Post in LA, NCL Gallery, their new uh, vinyl tote bag, which is so cute, so I'm taking that around with me. And my Gentle Monster Montclair shades, which I'm going to wear today. Nine, London Underground and National Rail Services. This is... So I'm in Central. I got off at Warren Street because I'm heading to Exla at Tottenham Court Road for my first meeting with my management team. Not seen them in a while in person, so that should be nice. And um, yeah, it's not even that sunny. It's kind of raining a little bit, but I have my leather on, so I'll be absolutely fine. When I don't take tan, I literally feel like an invisible ghost. Um, I've just said bye to Seb and Lydia. We had egg slut and then we went to Creme. This is like the iced toast banana latte or something and it is amazing. So you definitely have to try it out. It's around Soho, like on the back streets. Um, the weather's brightened up now as well. It's a bit sunny over there. I'm waiting for Scott to finish work. So I'm gonna go check out Forbidden Planet and some other geeky shops that I love to look around. And then I'll catch you in a bit. I just saw a guy in the Balenciaga Trooper boots, the rubber ones, and I know he looked good, but in my head I was like, your feet fucking hurt, bitch. Your feet fucking hurt. <laughs> Hello. I was Scott. We finished work. Hey guys, it is Thursday. Uh, we didn't do anything last night, that's why I didn't vlog anything else, because it's just chilling, you know? Just trying to get some downtime. Um, what was I going to say? You've got crazy hair, Joel, today, so hello. <laughs> I have to start packing for Germany for tomorrow, and I have to clean the entire house. So I have a lot to do, um, but I remembered last week that I showed you guys I bought a uh, the anti-gravity phone case. Uh, but I bought the cheap one, so it kept falling off the window. So now I've bought a more expensive one, hoping that this will actually work. So I'm going to put you on this, put you on the window, and let's see how it is. It does feel very sticky compared to the last one. I'm holding her. She up? Maybe? 
it could fall down at any moment to be honest but i think this one is better so this one was about 15 pounds well the last one was six pounds so hopefully i've made a better choice in deciding to spend a little bit more money on having a stickier phone case um <laughs> because the next vlog is going to start with going to germany i feel like i should end this vlog here but i did want to show you two things i picked up in manchester at the weekend um so i went vintage shopping yes me joel aka galax went vintage shopping shock horror so don't ask me why i have no idea why i bought this top but i fell in love with it i saw it on the rack i think this was in blue rinse vintage in manchester uh, i saw this and i was like i like it and i tried it on and i was like i can wear this on holiday in summer with like a pair of sunglasses and a pair of shorts and it is this. So we've got like a tiger and like a dragon. It's also sheer. Like you can't really tell on camera at the moment, but it's ve it is quite see-through, um, which I thought was quite cute. It's a bit cheeky, if you know what I mean. Um, and it's a nice fit as well. So yeah, that's the first thing I picked up. Crazy. Um, and the final thing, there's only two things. I was so, I was like, a moth to a flame with this in Pop Boutique. Uh, this is a biker jacket. And it was 80 pounds, which I thought was great value. It's this kind of like brown aged color, which I absolutely love. And it's quite cropped and skinny as well, which is not very like me. But basically I wore this to do a leaper on Monday night with like a white vest and like uh, smart slacks, like trousers. And it, I loved it. I thought it was really, really nice. Um, so that is that, and it's got zips on the sleeves as well. One of these um, epaulette bits was coming off. If you follow me on TikTok, you will have seen me trying this on. If you don't follow me on TikTok, what are you doing? Um, also on Instagram, go and like my pictures on Instagram. <laughs> Do that, please. <laughs> TikTok, Instagram, go. If you, if you don't follow TikTok and Instagram already, go and do it. I'll wait. Okay, thank you for doing that. So you will have seen this on TikTok already. Um, basically, one of these has come off. But Scott actually put a bit of double-sided sticky tape on there, and now it's fine uh, for now. So a temporary fix. Um, but someone on TikTok was saying that I should um, take it to, like, uh, what's... I don't know. In the UK, they're called Timpsons, and they make, like, keys and stuff, but it says that they can reattach, like, rivets and, like, studs and this kind of thing. But then someone else, another TikToker, um, said that he uh, would cut them off because he had a jacket that he cut them off of. And I was like, maybe I'll do that as well. Like, would it look nice with them cut off, like, the epaulets, like, these bits just gone? Or should I get it, like, properly reattached? Please let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. Maybe I should move this lower so you can see this better. Guys, this, this phone case is the one. It's really sticking. I'll leave a link. I will leave a link to this specific phone case that I bought from Amazon down below. Can you see it better now? I'm wearing a long top, so ignore this outfit with it, but you can tell like the vibe of the jacket anyway, can't you? Um, but that is me, guys. i got to get ready for Germany and I'll start another vlog tomorrow for next week. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.